Bailey. Original. <laughs> I'll put it above my bed. I'd rather you didn't, given that it's my mother and she's half naked. Yeah. Fair point. We should go and use that address. Say you know Barbara, who worked with Andy, and uh, doors should open. Dad. Grace. You must be Lee. Pleased to meet you. Starting to think Grace was keeping us apart. Uh. We were just leaving, actually. So. Oh, were you? Yes. We have to go home and collect some of Lee's camera equipment before tonight. Oh, there's an old steam locomotive parked up at the depot. I want to take some photos for my portfolio. He's a good lad. Got a story? Stick to it. Morris. Where do you live? Well, Rutherford Street. Robert Maplethorpe, Terence Donovan, George Cohen. Who's the old one out? Dad. What? I'm being friendly. Come on, for heaven's sake, Don Bundy. The man's about to take my daughter to America. Put her on the stage in a corset in front of 200 slavering New Yorkers. I just want him to know that I haven't got a problem with it. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, I, I, I didn't... It was Grace's idea. He knows that. I'm from a big Catholic family. So was Cesare Borgia. Go. Go now. Ring me later. I'm so sorry about him. Those feet in ancient times walk up on England's mountain <laughs> curry. Oh, flippin' heck. It's too smooth and brave heart. <laughs> If, um, uh, thank you. Um, well, uh, you all know that uh, we're having this party tonight because um, my daughter and uh, her boyfriend, Lee, uh, who's a very good photographer, and they're both going to America uh, for a year. And, um, well, we just wanted to give them a, a decent send-off. Grace uh, actually got on think one of her outfits is going to be a stripper. And I'm sure you'll all join me in, uh, in wishing her well with that. So, um, stripping. I really struggle on these occasions to actually s say what I want to. Uh, wait, I'm an ex-bank manager, you know, God's sake. And, uh, you know, we don't do big oratorios. What I, what I will say is this. Uh, about that life, every day before I went into my office, from the day Grace was born to the last time that she was at home with us, uh, the final thing I did, always, I used to peep in on her asleep. I'd just look at her, just stare at her face. My daughter. And, and whatever happened after that at the bank, and I have to tell you, the, uh, the bank, believe it or not, uh, could be a pretty frightening place sometimes. Hard and, 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 and long hours. And scared, even. You get scared that you, you weren't going to go home. 
Well, in those moments at the bank, I used to cling on to the image of her in bed, safe and adored. And I was so glad she couldn't see me and couldn't see how scared I got. Because I loved her so much. And I didn't want to disappoint her. Uh, but mostly it was, um, it was uh, selfish, I'll, I'll admit it. Because I didn't want her to know how I was. How my days behind my desk could really be. Because I, I was afraid that if she, if she did know, then she might, it might change her. It might, might have frightened her. And then the image of her in bed, secure and untroubled, would, would be gone forever. And I'd, I'd never set foot outside my door again. Anyway, I suppose this is um, just me saying, uh, have a safe trip, sweetheart. Have fun. And when you come back, you know where your mum and dad are. It's up to you, I, I understand. Cheers, mate. Oh, great speech, Mo. That was beautiful. Well done, Mo. That was a um, nice speech. Well, I, I had no right to interfere in your life, not considering that you knew so little about mine. But if there's anything that you need... I know, you'll just nick it for me. No, it's not like that. No? We were specialists. High class. Some might say we were folk heroes. Really? Are you famous, then? Yeah, we, were, we were very famous. In fact, um... <laughs> we, uh, we stole the Queen's Rolls Royce once. No way! <laughs> It was your mum's birthday and I wanted, I wanted to give her a treat she'd never get. <laughs> Make a deal with you, Dad. I'll shut up about your private life if you shut up about mine, OK? Oh, yeah. Oh. Lee. Just wanted to say all the best. Thank you. You break her heart and I'll break your face. Yes, I think you probably would. Good luck. Oh, this is a lie. Uh, Lou. Okay. Oh.